Okay, I'll just show you a super easy hot bed technique that I use. So, a um, bit of woodcraft glue and uh, just put a wee bit of it on the bed. And I just have um, a wee bit of water, just a few sprinkles of water, and then. Um, Mix it around. Make a wee bit of a mess. And smooth that out. And that'll dry off. And then I'll um, we'll show you the finished product and how to get rid of that. Easy. Okay, the glue's, glue's dried off, and uh, I've always had a good result with um, ABS PLA sticking to it. So, you can see my glue on there. So, this is to clean up, let's get some water. Put my water on there and it sort of goes milky. Give it a wipe around. Just get my tissue. And Be a wee bit of curl there, but I think it'll still, still be okay. So that's not that's not bad, is it? Pretty good. And I've just kicked it up to six hundred percent. Just on the um, see there's 601. And, um, Pushed it to eight hundred percent. Don't really think there's a lot of difference between eight hundred and six hundred. Oh, it is doing a very clean job. Leave it run at 800. Yeah, I think the infill is a lot faster. The outside doesn't seem as fast, but the fill does seem faster. It's now 984. I think the outside edge might be just at around 6 700, and the infill is definitely going faster. Here's our, um, here's the next day. Let me give it a bit of a bang. I don't know if you saw that and we're off. And look, at the, look at the finish on that. So that's been printed. Yep, up to um, 900. Nice and square, good square edges. It's a good job. So 
I have the start of the puzzle box is underway and um, really tight square lines. Uh, it looks like it's stuck to the bed beautifully. So um, come back in a few hours and have a look and see how it's going. I started the bed temperature at 70 and the nozzles at 200 but I'm cranking the bed up to 86 because um, when you measure it it's actually only about 60 so 86 will bring it up to around 70 and uh, yeah, it's only been going for 4 seconds Wow, this colour's awesome. <coughs> Let's see, um, <coughs> I'm going to get about 10% infill. Um, support infill, that is. Just so it's easy to break out. And it saves a wee bit of filament. It should be enough to get up there and um, stop the top from sagging where I did on uh, one of my last ones and I'll show you that later. That is a great, great colour. I'm using Juri PLA and uh, so far it's, um, it prints really well. So I built this one with full supports and uh, so I want everything dead square. So it's looking okay. It's only uh, maybe ten percent. Looks nice and solid, feels nice and solid. Well, I've just removed the um, support out of my second build and I did, a, did two builds because um, I didn't use any support in the first one and the edges were a bit ugly possibly my settings was very very thin um, and oh, it's really really soft I wasn't wasn't happy with it so went for more infill and support and very clean feels solid so and um, looks great it's really really clean on the insides good edges so we'll try and put it together now
depends on the PLA, this one's um, different. Sand them down, file them down quite easily. to make sure that they're sitting flat so that's where they have to glue them together so it's not on an angle The um, gap at the bottom. I have the right tile, and there's a small side and a large side. Of the small, the S for small, small side, and then <coughs> we have the top, and yeah, that can go. They can go anyway, so the top oh, the top is at the back. It's the top. It's, it's got the left and the top. And then we have the base. The little piece comes to the front. The right way around, of course. One piece to the front. And then we have the 
the left and that has a small piece and a large piece so the small piece goes to the bottom so small piece to the bottom there. and then we have the front piece And then you have to and we're there. And these pieces move they move in the slot and then move sideways and then we put the Put the covers on. Take it back out. And you have to glue. So you have to glue the knob. Glue those two together and make sure it is square. And then work your way around and glue all these up. So I'll glue mine up and uh, I'll come back. Well, here's the finished product of my Chinese torture box and I am really pleased that that is over because that was horrendous um, but it works and uh, <coughs> At the end of the day I'm quite happy with it and there's quite a few little tricks that you really have to um, make sure that the top to top and side to side are all the correct pieces and don't get them mixed up as I did. Um, there was one wee modification which I'll put a, on the base. Um, which I put a, um, a picture up of what I did. You probably go 60% infill on everything for strength and check that the tightness of here when you set them that there's um, you can actually tighten them up so that they're they're not too floppy. That, that there, see that's hardly it's got a wee bit of a wee bit of flop. It's hardly got any, but it's quite it's good. Okay, so there's the base sitting down. So the first one is the top and that is up and then it is left. And that goes up, it's gone across, and then you go around to the green, and it's gone across, and then the blue, and the blue is across, and then the base 
the base goes, which way is the base go? Base goes and up and out. There we go. But so <clears throat> as you can see I marked everything and I did a dummy run. Oops, must have yep, the blues. Did a dummy run and um put it back together. I'll tell you what, if you haven't spent time with this and understand how it works, <laughs> I, I don't think you'll get into it. <laughs> I think it'll be a hammer job. But, um, yeah, it looks good. Um, I had a few stuff ups with, I got these mixed up and they have different sizing here. This is a longer one, some are smaller. You got the short gap, you got the long gap. So it's really, really important to label the top inner, top outer one, and top outer two, and left inner, left outer one, left outer two, and uh, keep them labeled and keep them together. Um, I assembled it up and I had it glued up and see how the white there's hardly any movement really in the square well if you have the wrong one in the wrong hole it can it can flop around um, so yeah Chinese puzzle box. It's complete. Woohoo! <laughs>